Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and iOS 16.3 RC has been released. Now this is a really interesting update even though it's not as big as we thought it would be initially, it's still an interesting update to install and use on your device. So in this video we're going to take a look at this update and I will let you know everything that you need to know regarding iOS 16.3 before you go ahead and update your iPhone to this latest version. Now first of all we're taking a look at the size of the update so when you want to update your device to iOS 16.3 make sure that you have enough storage because it will be quite big. It will come to your device at around 5 gigs so you can see right here it's actually 5.35 right here on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Of course this will always be different on different devices and will be different based on which software you have currently installed on your iPhone but expect quite a huge update so you need to make sure that you have enough space to install this update on your device. Next we're taking a look at the build number so this is the new build number for iOS 16.3 it is 20D47 the new build number of the latest update. And now let me show you guys how you can update your device to iOS 16.3. Now first of all as I said you need to make sure that you have enough free storage and of course an internet connection on your iPhone. Then if you want to update if you're on iOS 16.2 all you have to do is head on to the settings general software update and you will get the new update right here you can go ahead and install it on your device or if you just don't want to deal with it you want everything to be automatic you can go to automatic updates make sure that you have all of these enabled and then this update will automatically be downloaded and installed on your device of course as long as you leave your iphone plugged in it will download and also install the update automatically even though it of course won't happen as fast as you can do that manually you will still get the update Update without having to bother installing it on your iPhone. Now things will be a bit different if you have a beta of iOS 16.3 installed on your iPhone. Now with the RC version that will be exactly the same as the public release. So if you have updated to the latest RC version of iOS 16.3 then you don't need to actually update your device anymore. You, you have the current update and you have the latest update which will also be released to the public. If you have that you won't get an update on your device. But if you have beta 2 let's say or beta 1 and you want to just update to the public version what you need to do is head on to your settings, go to general and then right here under VPN and device management make sure that you delete the beta profile that you have installed on your iPhone. Again if you're not on iOS 16.3 RC. So go ahead, delete the profile from here. Once you have deleted it, the device will get the update for iOS 16.3. Now before we move on and take a look at some of the biggest changes that you will get on your device with iOS 16.3, let's first take a look at battery life and performance of this update. So here we have the last 10 days and here we have all the uses that we have done on this device. Keep in mind that this is a newer iPhone, battery health at 99%, so of course you would expect it to perform good. So here we have yesterday, so we have here about 90% of battery usage and on screen 7 hours, off screen of course 1 hour 38 minutes. Right there we have the second one, so here we have a bit of a better result with like maybe 75% battery, we have 8 hours on screen, 8.5 hours actually on screen. Now this of course always will be different based on what you're doing on your device, which apps are you using, whether you're playing games or like heavy graphics stuff or whether you're using cellular or using Wi-Fi, that has an impact a lot. But of course it will be different every day so you cannot just set like a point to what amount of time you will get on the battery on iOS 16.3. But in my opinion it's quite solid, nothing that good in my opinion you cannot actually make a difference between the battery life on iOS 16.2 to iOS 16.3 in my experience using this update since beta 1 this has been more than a month now it's quite stable but don't expect any huge improvements from iOS 16.2. Moving on to performance and let's take a look here at the Geekbench scores. So these are the best results that I've gotten with this update. The single core score is the 1875 and comparing it to iOS 16.2, here we have iOS 16.2 so 18, 1866 so just a slight improve there. And then we also have the multi-core score so we have 
5535. Again, comparing it to iOS 16.2, we have here quite a decent increase so it was 5444 so we have quite a decent increase here in performance according to geekbench also using the device of course on daily basis it will be quite stable the performance is actually quite good i didn't encounter any like major like glitches or hangs or freezings or things like that it actually performs as it should and now let's move on and take a look at some of the bigger changes that you will get with ios 16.3 one that you will notice is a new wallpaper. So we have a new Unity wallpaper right here, which is actually quite cool. And it has some extra features when you compare it to other wallpapers. So right here, if you go to customize it, you go ahead and go to this wallpaper, you will see that it actually has quite a lot of options so you can switch between different colors this will be the default one you can go ahead and choose between different colors here to actually combine it with the wallpaper and make it look just like like you like it so if we go here and pick one of the wallpapers you will notice that we have also a new font right here so a bolder font right there for the clock and you can see we have these bolder fonts and we only have like two different color options here and of course we have the transparent one but you will have black and white here you can go ahead and of course adjust the strength of the color right there but it doesn't give you the option to actually choose any color you like now what i really love about this wallpaper is that if you use it on an iphone 14 pro or an iphone 14 pro max you will get this really cool feature when the device goes on the always on display so if we write here and just lock the device you can see how cool that looks all those lines you can see will be displayed right there all the lines the cuts that it has here when you go to the always on display you can see how great that looks next up we're talking about physical security keys and this is the biggest feature of ios 16.3 so you can have access to this by going at the top of your settings app at your apple id you go to password and security and here we'll have security keys so basically it allows you to add physical security keys for your account but you will have to add actually two it won't work with one of them you have to have two just in case you lose one of them so right here it says you need two security keys and it will show you everything you need to know about these here so this is a quite a big feature i see a lot of people using it of course you want to make sure that you always have your data protected and you have your security keys physical security keys now you can use them with your icloud which is pretty cool a lot of changes have been made under emergency and sos as well so you will have basically new wording right here so now it says call with hold and release you have here call with five button presses and also you have here call quietly so all these have been changed these are features that actually have been here before but they have been named differently to basically clarify more what they mean and what they do so a pretty nice touch here for the emergency and sos settings with this update you will also get these like instructions here to transfer music and control home pod so you will get like this animation right here that shows you what you need to do and actually the gestures that you need to use in order to transfer music and also control your home pod ios 16.3 will also add support for the new home pods that have been announced so those need iOS 16.3 in order to work so if you plan to buying it you need to update your device to iOS 16.3 now here is another really nice touch for the books app so on the books app when you go to change your font you would have actually to reset everything if you want to go back to the original font now you will have the option here to choose original just like you would do with any other font you can also now pick original and it will just change the font to the original one and not have to reset everything and this right here is quite cool as well on the maps app now you will have options for parking so if you just go to a place on the maps app and you tap on more it shows here parking this is really cool you tap there and it will go to spot hero and it will show you all the available parking spaces so right here we'll have everything you need to know so pretty cool whenever you go to visit a place you can just tap always on more and it will load all your parking options there are also a few new splash screens that you will get with iOS 16.3, basically letting you know about new features. This one right here will be shown once you open the Translate app on iOS 16.3. And then we have another one here for the App Store, asking you to basically turn on notifications for the App Store so that you stay up to date.
you will also get a new splash screen for the music app basically letting you know about the new karaoke thing the new apple music thing that they have added with iOS 16.2 and another change that you will notice once you go to this feature on the music app is that the volume here the lowest vocal has been set a bit higher. Now iOS 16.3 will also address some really interesting bugs that a lot of users have been experiencing with iOS 16.2. First of them is the issue where users on the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max would actually see horizontal lines temporarily on their device when waking up the device or booting it up. A lot of people have thought that this is a problem with the screen of the iPhone. It's actually a software problem and that has been resolved with iOS 16.3. We were expecting actually Apple to release an update to fix this problem with iOS 16.2.1 maybe, but it looks like they won't do it and of course it will be on iOS 16.3 which will be here in a few days. Another bug which is really interesting and a lot of people have happened to have that bug is the wallpaper on the lock screen might appear just black you have any kind of wallpaper you want it would just appear black on the lock screen that has been fixed as well so now that you know everything you need to know regarding iOS 16.3 when will it be released well in my opinion this will come next week of course it will come next week at the beginning of the next week it should be either monday or tuesday so i'm expecting it to be released on the 23rd or 24th of january now this is a sure thing it will happen next week because on february 3rd the new home pods will be released and they require this update they require ios 16.2 so again expect this update to come at around the beginning of the next week 23rd or 24th of january now what's next on ios 16 well probably ios 16.4 beta 1 will be released very very soon you can expect it maybe as soon as next week i wouldn't be surprised if i see apple releasing iOS 16.3 on the 23rd and then on the 24th seeing a new iOS 16.4 beta which probably will have a lot more features than currently iOS 16.3 has. So that's basically it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe for more iOS 16.3 videos and I'll see you on the next one.